word M boom, M apostrophe, capital M apostrophe B O O M is the name of a African tribe in Senegal, West Africa. It's a secret order of drummers, percussionists. That name was bestowed upon us by the late Max Roach. You know, I come back from time to time, various times. Uh, it was about, I came back about eight, nine years ago and I uh, went to the uh, famed Mother's Day parade and uh, I saw the uh, Chester High School band and, uh, <laughs> wait a minute, no, hold it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, what I saw was shocking. It shocked me. I was shocked and the reason why, and I hate to, to be the purveyor of the good old days, but when I was going to high school here, the Chester High School band used to take two blocks. We would take over two blocks. <laughs> All right. The Chester High School band won numerous awards, statewide, nationwide, marching band, concert band awards. Uh, it was at that level. All right. There's a reason for the decline, and it didn't just happen here in Chester. It happened everywhere all over the country, really, was the, uh, the demise of the arts and humanities study for math and science. Now, math and science is important. That, of course, is very important. But uh, never negate the arts. It's a mistake to negate the arts. Because the arts, the arts are the soul the, the soul of human humanity, and and it's the thought. It, it's about humanity. Is, is about thoughts and relationships. And music and art can transcend racial, ethnic barriers all across the world. So never negate the arts. <laughs> Nigeria. Now, his, he'll play the beat, is in five counts.
two-way pocket way is you heard of and seen the New Orleans marching bands yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So well the uh, the marching bands and first of all a little on the history of the set see the drum set comes out of marching bands in New Orleans in Storyville where jazz was nurtured when they opened up Storyville for the clubs for the bands and an old time drummer used to tell me, he said, they had so many bands that they used to pull them off the street. Now, when they opened up the clubs, instead of having four guys playing, they just, they got rid of three people. They put the bass drum on the floor. This thing, ching, 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 that's what this is. And was that, was that, was that high. And put the cymbal on top. This is four people. This is supposed to be four people, one guy. So the two-way pocket way rhythm is, I right, listen here, you asked me, my man, don't turn it's like, away. Is that loud in the back? Yeah, okay. The two-way pocket way is a rhythm that they played in New Orleans 
when they, particularly when they would march to the funeral, they would play a slow dirge, and on the way back, they'd play what they call a two-way pocky way rhythm, which is like a... They used to play, uh, when I was coming up, and we played the rhythm and blues, and I showed you, we played the shuffle. I'm just speaking rhythmically now. Now, there was a record made by a woman named Barbara George in 1958. That was way before y'all was even born. She's from New Orleans, and it had the beat. From that point on, all the popular music, rhythm and blues, rock and roll, had that beat, this, that had that eight note beat. Now you want to know the difference between the jazz. The jazz rhythm is free, it's free, it's freer. The drummers like Max Roach, like I showed you, they, this coordinated independence, they developed that. And instead of playing this ponderous beat all the time, they made it, you played the beat all around the, all around the set. The main thrust of the rhythm was on the, what we call a ride rhythm. And the rest of the set is free to play anything. Much freer uh, expression to play around the set. 